I'm Fox 5 New York reporter Lisa Evers, and we have new information, an update, and a clarification about the Vibes Cartel murder conviction appeal before the Privy Council. A lot of people have been questioning what were some of these reports that came out saying that his appeal had been denied, that it had been thrown out, that these applications that had fresh evidence and other questions, serious questions that were raised, were thrown out and that the whole appeal was over. And I want you to know that I spoke with his attorney uh, earlier today, Isop Buchanan, who is the one that is leading the defense team for Vibes Cartel, AKA Adija Palmer. And he told me in no uncertain terms that Vibes Cartel will have his day in court. I'm just providing a correction. There were certain applications that were, were made directly to the Privy Council and those applications were denied. The substantive appeal is still alive and we look forward to arguing the, the appeal. There are specific timelines that's now um, before us in, in light of this application and that's in relation to the record of appeal and the, the necessary documents that would be needed for the appeal. Let me be absolutely clear. Mr. Palmer, Mr. Sean Campbell, Mr. Kara Jones and Andre St. John, the four gentlemen, they have their live appeal before the court. So their family members who were harmed, hurt, disappointed by inaccurate news, this is for them. They still have an appeal and we have our prayers and, and our love and support for, for the gentlemen. The overall case itself is moving forward. The train is still on the tracks. It's still going towards that uh, destination of trying to have the appeal heard by the Privy Council. It's just minus one or two of the cars that were at the end. Not the engine is still there. The main part of it is still there. So I hope that explains for everybody uh, what is going on with the case. And of course, we continue to follow it. We will continue. I will continue to follow it personally. I'll continue to follow it in my capacity as a journalist and a television news reporter for Fox 5 News uh, here in New York City. We'll continue to post uh, reports and post reports also on our Fox 5 NY YouTube page.